Thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis, education in both the stock market and cryptocurrency worlds. See the links in the description of this video for more information on our two courses, entries and exits on the fundamentals of technical analysis, as well as our new course on trading cryptocurrency strategy. Purchase both and receive a 20% off bundle discount. Thanks for checking us out. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey everyone, checking in on the big three. Before I get into it, just want to touch on a point that I've been reading about. Just very interesting. I'm certainly interested in quantum physics. That entire world is very fascinating. If you, you know, there's plenty of information on YouTube. You can learn anything online these days. And looking at quantum physics videos is something that I do. And a little branch of this and how it relate, relates to the cryptocurrency space is quantum computing. And what quantum computing is going to do is essentially exponentially, exponentially increase the ability that our computing power currently has. It's, you know, it's been speculated that the first quantum computer will have the same computing power as all the computers currently on, on the planet. So it's huge in terms of the possibilities there. And an analogy of what it really is, just to break it down, let's say you have a maze and you're trying to solve a maze. The way computers currently work, they have to send, you know, a little mouse through this end and it fails and then he sends it through this end and it fails until they finally get the right way. And it does this very quickly, but it's having to go, you know, one at a time to get there. What a quantum computer will do is test all of the routes at the exact same time instantaneously and instantaneously find the sol it will solve that problem. So that is the potential in terms of the exponential growth here and why that poses a potential risk to the cryptocurrency space is these you know, super cute computers could potentially easily disrupt the encodings that the cryptocurrency space does have right now that make them so secure. So it's something that people, everybody's definitely keeping an eye on. And, you know, companies like Google have invested upwards of a billion dollars in terms of quantum computing. And it's really a race in terms of, you know, back in the uh, middle of the century, it was the space race between us and Russia and all these major superpowers. And now it's really a quantum computing race that's currently underway because it will have such a significant leg up on everything that currently exists that it is something to keep an eye out for and it could be a disruptor for the cryptocurrency space so not saying it is i certainly do not have the technical knowledge to make that kind of statement or opinion it's just something i'm keeping an eye on because i find it very fascinating bitcoin on the daily time frame still weak still small movement still very tight and still not a lot of volatility so i just want to make the point that there's going to be a time where this is the norm for cryptocurrency this slow you know not a lot of action not a lot of day trading opportunity the opportunity is still there it's just not what we've been used to so this is going to be the norm at some point and for traders it's going to be a big bummer because it's a lot harder to make money and for people that want acceptance of cryptocurrencies this is what you're waiting for you want tight action without a lot of volatility if you want these things to be accepted as you know payment or whatever else the goals of each individual coin are but the more fluctuations you have the more timid big retailers like amazon will be to accept it you know if you can see it lose 10 percent in three days that's a big turnoff to a lot of adoption so we are still seeing a lot of volatility overall but just today it was a very tight range we did just roll over to a new candlestick on the daily but just not a lot of action so the four hour time frame overnight we had the a wall street journal article hit and it was again echoing the the china ban it's really the headline was sensationalized in terms of causing fear of course but just saying you know that the china may be banning cryptocurrencies and the exchanges and just causing fear so we sold off again last night where the bulls had uh, some nice momentum with a higher low and a higher high on the four hour time frame bullish mac decross on the four hour and then here's that candlestick where we dumped and even hit a lower low on bitcoin on gdax so the bulls are trying to recover from that it's been a slow and steady recovery attempt they do have a small amount of momentum because we are building a base of support down here but it was a big setback and it really took the wind out of the sails of the bulls and like i said in the last video it's never a coincidence for me with timing with articles being released released and news releases, there's always strategic timing for releases, in my opinion. So Bitcoin on the hourly time frame to get a better glimpse, we can see the bulls in a, a bit of an equilibrium pattern at this point where we had the dump and the low, lower high, higher low, tightening range. So support right now is 4175. 
and resistance is up at 4298. So about $125 range to be watching for this equilibrium. And again, the equilibrium is occurring because it's after a high volatility, high volume dump and it's price discovery trying to find that range and tightening up until we see a clear break. So Ethereum, this downtrend resistance line won't make sense on the daily time frame. I drew it using the four hour time frame. It's a descending triangle we'll look at in just a minute. But just want to show that the bulls are attempting to turn things around. You see all these lower wicks in this area. The bulls are definitely defending the upper $200 range. Just have to see that follow through for the bulls. Same story. We got that follow through last night with a higher low and a higher high. And then the bears took over on that dump with a big bear volume, taking, taking all the wind out of the sail of the bulls. And we're recovering here, but it's a long recovery. So here, zooming out, this is the downtrend line I'm looking at on the four hour time frame tons of rejections we have our double bottom at 285 so it is a descending triangle pattern current resistance i'm looking at 30201 followed by the high here of 30797 and i have been trading way less when you're trading against the trend which we are currently in a downtrend obviously you want to be having the opportunity to play bearish i would love it if gdax could give me fdic insurance on 250 grand and give me margin capability to short i would be playing bearish on this pullback but again, I'm not comfortable on other exchanges and I am not approved for margin anywhere else at this point. And also, we're not in a significant pullback yet as far as the weekly time frame goes. It's just the daily time frame that has this consolidation occurring. So all of those reasons are reasons that I'm only playing bullish at this point. But what that does mean is I'm adjusting my game plan as the environment changes. So where we're seeing this pullback, I was making probably four times as many trades last week as I'm making this week. And I haven't made a trade again today. And in the past two days, I probably made one trade a day on average. And that's way cut back for me. And I'm being way more picky because the bears have momentum and these bounces are short lived. The gains are smaller and I'm just trading less frequently. If I were trying to do the exact same thing I were doing on an uptrend, I would be losing money day after day on days like this. So I need to adjust to the conditions and make sure my trading style is reflecting that. So here, um, I did, was in a position of Ethereum last night, and I kind of lucked out to a degree. This is one of those scenarios where technical analysis absolutely helped me exit with a really nice exit, but I certainly wasn't expecting a dump. So what I mean by that is I'm, I was in this bull move last night, and I was we were right up here at 307.97, and I sold some of my position on the way up in the 305s, and then we hit this level. And I still had a solid chunk left, I think about 60% of my position. I saw the momentum shift. I knew the 15-minute time frame was seeing a volume climax. I saw the RSI hitting up around 70. That alone wouldn't be a reason to sell. But that with the volume climax, with the solid move that we had seen over the past couple of hours, and the fact that I wanted to go to bed without a position, all led for me to sell. And once I saw that momentum shift, I sold market at 307.87. So 10 cents from the top is where I exited 60% of my position. And again, it was the shift in momentum that had me do that. And I did not hesitate at all because of fees. I sold market order. Obviously, that paid off huge by just getting out and exiting. And so what I mean by earlier, technical analysis, these indicators absolutely had me get out at the top. But in terms of saying, oh, I, I knew we were going to dump, that's not true at all. I just knew that consolidation was going to be coming. It could have been healthy consolidation. It could have been this dump. Either way, I knew that I wanted to get out before this consolidation so I could go to bed without a position. So we ended up dumping and we're seeing a, a slow and steady recovery and the bulls need to break this high of 30201 to see continuation. It's just been a slow and steady recovery where we dumped in you know a half hour. That's when that dump took place and it's taken many hours to try and make those gains back. So Litecoin on the daily time frame, same thing. This trend line is from the four hour but watching for a bullish reversal candlestick to try and be confirmed, building a base of support down at 65. So the four hour time frame is a descending triangle pattern as well from the all time high. And look at that. It's a really nice base of support down in the low 65s, clear resistance. And we're watching this level tighten and we should see a clear break on both of these descending triangle patterns. I would say sometime in the next, let's see, 24 hours would give us six candlesticks. And again, I'm just estimating here. So I would say within the next, 36 hours to be sure because the ranges are so small we could fit a bunch of candlesticks within here so litecoin key resistance right now the high of the bounce from the dump last night is 69.86 and then the high of progress that was erased by that dump 71.55 so where we stand on both of these names ethereum and litecoin are stronger correlated to each other 
than Bitcoin on GDAX. And I can say that because I've been watching very close, but also because GDAX on the dump last night broke to lower lows for Bitcoin, whereas Ethereum and Litecoin formed higher lows. So this did still see support hold to a degree. And now zooming in on Litecoin, we can see the bulls are trying to recover a bunch of resistances to be looking at. I could pick out eight resistance here, eight resistance levels. Every time we saw a bounce attempt and rejected, it's a new resistance point. So the bulls have their work cut out for them. We have been seeing Litecoin lag a little bit today. And this is the second day in the row for me where I've seen little small signs on 15 minute time frames, shorter term time frames, that the Ethereum bulls are the strongest and going to certainly keep an eye on the correlations between everything. But as of right now, I would say it goes Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin in terms of the short term strength that we've seen today. So that's what we've got heading into tomorrow. I haven't made a trade today. I don't really see a setup where I'm going to. I'm not really trying to hold a position for, you know, two hours to see. Let's see, the gain over two hours here was $4. And it was even, yeah, about $4. So that's not really worth it to me. I missed the days where we saw $4 in 10 seconds. But we'll have to just be patient and wait for that volatility, volatility to pick back up. The bulls definitely had volume behind this move. And we have some nice pops here. We did see a half hour move where we went from 294 up to 301. So that's a nice, you know, if you can capture a 4 or $5 move in 15, 30 minutes, certainly won't complain about that. But just waiting, I would love to see an oversold dump, to be honest, and to be able to play that with confidence that we would see a, a more prolonged, faster gain bounce play out. But just watching these tightening four-hour descending triangle patterns at this point. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great night, and we will see you all tomorrow.